Hello everyone. As you know, Windows 11 Insider Preview Build is uh, out since yesterday. So if you want to install it, it's quite easy. Uh, you go into the settings and Windows Insider Program here. First, you need to um, set up optional diagnostic data. Once this is set up, go back to the Windows Insider pane, get, click on Get Started. And you link your account. This is my desktop, so I won't do it on my desktop because this is this is my uh, main work computer. But I did it on my laptop. But it's pretty easy. Like you click on link account, and it should work. You enter your Microsoft account, and uh, after that, after that, you you need to reboot. And when you go to Windows Update, it will it will offer you to update to uh, Windows 11 and that's it and then after a couple of reboots uh, about 20 minutes of downloads and install uh, you should get Windows 11 uh, working depending on the your connection speed So this is Windows 11 on my Xiaomi Notebook Pro 2017. The installation went smoothly and the stability seems pretty good. Um, as you see, the, the taskbar is centered. The settings menu, menu seems much more streamlined and clean. Anyway, I like it better than Windows 10 one. Task Manager is, seems to be the same. No additional features, unfortunately. What I really wanted to try is Unreal. It seems to be a bit unstable. I got two crashes so far. Uh, one trying the third person demo and uh, another one trying the shooter game. Shooter game is quite big. So I got the crash while compiling. It still seems to be workable. So this is a third person C++ example. Works as uh, intended. So if you want to if you want to upgrade to Windows 11 and wondering if uh, Unreal can still work. It works quite well. I just got to crash, but um i think it's workable i just don't recommend updating your main work computer with that obviously that's a risk but uh for a second computer i think it's okay and you can you can do some work with it So most basic functions work. So I'm using a Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. I also tried a couple of benchmarks like Cinebench, which gives a, about the same score as before when I had the Windows 10. Same thing for Crystal, uh, Crystal Dismark. As well as PyTorch and Python setup. Um, 
nothing was broken so this is the the famous uh, mini gpt example from corporate everything just worked basically about the same performance so again if you uh, if you do this type of stuff normally updating to windows 11 preview won't break it So that's it if you have questions you can ask in the comment section uh, i will post the, the specs of my laptop in the description thanks for listening don't forget to like and subscribe if you want